Hello everyone, my name is Dan from Lodi Files, and today I'm going to show you how we can add all these animations inside OBS. So are you guys ready? Let's begin. So first, let's start with OBS. OBS is a broadcasting platform which is open source, and it works in Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Well, the power of OBS is that you can add any type of media. And not only that, of course, there is tons and tons of uses and combinations that you can use with OBS, but in this case, we just focus on the animations. So what exactly we will add? We will add Lodi animations. So maybe you didn't know, but sometimes, you know, people just asking like, what is a Lodi? So Lodi is a type of animation. It's not a GIF. It's not an MP4. It's not a PNG. It's a Lodi. So the difference between all these different formats that I already mentioned is that Lodi is super, super tiny. Plus it has incredible quality of resolution if you compare with the other format. So it's just so easy to grab the URL and put it everywhere. So I will show you how we can do that. For that, you need to enter to Lodi files. And also in this website, you will find like the largest collection of animations in the world, Lodi animations. So for example, in this case, I would like to add something about music. If I type music, you will see we have tons and tons of results about it. But let's focus in OBS. So first you need to do is to download OBS, of course. Now, you know, I would just delete this. So we have the subscribe over here, live over here. So I will select both of them and super simple, you know, just with the delete button, there you go. It asks you to delete, you say yes. And we have our log over here. So, you know, momentarily we can hide it. And also I will just hide my, my video stream. So over here also you can hide it. There you go. I will just disappear for a moment. Don't worry about it. So there you go. We don't have anything. So you will start from scratch. I, I, I can't even delete this, you know, boom. Yes. So yeah, let's delete everything. I know everybody wants to start from scratch. Okay. So now. What we'll do next? The first thing we need to add is a video source. So I will click on add and over here, I will look for this video capture device. So once you select that, you can name it as you want. In this case, I'm using a black magic. So I will name it black magic. And then you can choose the device. So we have, you know, different sources, but I will choose black magic design. There you go. So I'm here. Hello. And you can choose the resolution of it. So in this case, we will choose high. And something that I love also is that you can even play, you know, you can resize it as you want. We can put it over here so you can see my face better. There you go. I think it's working. And then you can hit OK. So we have our first source over here. And this works with layers. So I, I will show you what I, what I will do now. Next, we'll add, let's say, like the animation of our logo. So let's go to Lodi. And over here, let's look for Lodi. There you go. So as you can see, we have tons of results and we can choose any of them as we want. So in this case, we'll choose this one. And over here, you need to focus on this. I mean, don't worry about these URLs. Just focus on the one that says iframe code. So you select this one and then copy. There you go. So now just uh, come back here. You just come back here to OBS and click on the plus icon and then go to browser. So over here, you can put like Lodi files log. There you go. And here is the key part. So, you know, right in URL, you replace this for this, but you need to, you know, delete iframe until the codes. So this also, we need to delete the codes and also from the codes to iframe and then hit OK. And boom, you got it. So easy, so simple. So we can place it anywhere. We just can resize it a little bit more. And voila, you have it. So most of you, sometimes you use like, you know, a subscribe animation or live animation. We can do that too. So for example, here we can search for live. And as you can see, the resolution is top notch. You know, vectorize, you don't have any problem. In this case, we'll select this one. And again, you know, just click here, iframe code. You need to check this tab 
and then copy. So you come back to OBS and you can add multiple animations as much as you want. So I will click on the plus icon again. I will select browser and over here I will put like live animation. Okay. And then I will add my iframe and I will delete this part of the code. Okay. Boom. And then I can place it over here, play a little bit. So when I say that OBS works with layers, it means that, for example, if I put my video source on the bottom, so we still can see live and the load animations over here. But if I put the video source on top, so we'll hide the rest of the animation. So let me put this here. And as you can see, we don't see anything. So just make sure to put your video source on the bottom. Okay, cool. The last thing we'll do, you know, is just to look for a subscribe animation. So over here, yeah, there are many, many cool animations. Um, yeah, why not? Maybe we can select this one. Oh, this one also. Let me go back. Yeah, this one. I like this more. So yeah, again, iframe, select the code. And over here, the plus icon, browser. So over here, we need to type what we like to name it. So subscribe, and then we need to change this. There you go. And we have our subscribe animation. And also we can make it like smaller. Yeah, nice. Now that you finish, you want to go live. You're ready for that. So the next step will be this. Don't forget to click here, start virtual camera. So this will actually turn on the OBS camera. So for example, let's say like if I'm in a Zoom meeting, we're in Zoom right now, and we would like to check, you know, if our camera is working. So let's say like, you know, I would just create a new meeting. So it's trying to connect, but we can go to preferences. So it's okay, join with computer audio. We have the, the audio here, but as you can see, we don't see the camera. And this is because we didn't turn on the OBS camera. So for that, just make sure to click over here, start virtual camera. There you go. So now we are in zoom, you know, very clear. The animations are top notch. Uh, it's fantastic. Now, if we want to do the same in Google Meet, so we come here, we say like, okay, new meeting. We start an instant new meeting. And again, just wait for a while. There you go. And don't worry that in Google Meet, you know, sometimes it looks like it's flipped, but this is totally normal. So don't try to fix it. You know, just leave it like that because the rest of your teammates, they will be looking good. So yeah, you know, that's it for today. And I really hope you like it. And if you have any comments or questions, please let us know. I will see you in the next one. Bye.